North China, there's the Forbidden City. While in the south, there's a Liu family residence. The complex of the Liu family residence was built by the Liu family in Dongyang, Zhejiang Province, China. The buildings were first built during the Southern Song Dynasty. Later ones were constructed successfully, gradually forming the grand private mansion. The main buildings of the Liu family residence are primarily wooden structures where they are suitable for carving. They are almost all engraved with decorative patterns on various themes. The Liu family residence is like a huge museum, enabling the world to fully appreciate the wonder and the beauty of Dongyang wood carving. 呃，东阳木雕呢，雕刻技法里面有十几种雕刻技法。它这个雕刻技法呢，有圆雕、猴雕、半圆雕，现在还有个铁雕。分文、啊、Two is the inheritor of China's national intangible cultural heritage. Dongyang wood carving in his artistic wood carving career, he has created various kinds of wood carving techniques, such as the semicircular carving, carving based on the original shape of the wood, carving combining tree root and stone, and so on. Generation of wood carving artisans have constantly drawn upon the essence of traditional techniques on the basis of the ancient methods and skills from previous generations. They have integrated more elements from modern times and life in wood carving artworks. This piece, we use the ancient Chinese techniques to make a painting to make a piece. 那么这个作品里面呢，我是生长着一个荷花，荷花呢，它是代表了一种和美、和谐。那我们演的这把茶壶，就是演的是一种和谐、和美的源泉。Dongyang wood carving covers a lot of themes and involves multiple carving techniques, from the layout of the whole picture to the elaborate and meticulous carving process. The time required varies from several weeks to months, even years, to complete each creation. As Dongyang wood carving has adapted to modern life, it is increasingly becoming an independent art form. In September 2016, the Potala Palace and many other representative Dongyang wood carving works were showcased at the main venue of the G20 summit held in Hangzhou, China. At the main venue of the summit, the Chinese-style conference tables and chairs have shown Dongyang wood carving artisans' new understanding of the tradition and modernity. So we have made a lot of changes and changes to the technology so that the Dongyang wood can be able to get a better effect. Restoration and reconstruction of the ancient oriental architecture, production of the solemn classical Buddha statues, Spectacular and exquisite art carvings. Elegant and delightful wood carving furniture. Vivid and lifelike wood carving dolls. With the unique aesthetic taste of the Chinese people. Dongyang wood carving. Has been passed down from the ancient times to today. It witnesses the changes of time and the improvement in people's lives.